following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, my subscribers. This is Atiyah Fangy coming to you with an extra special review. And as you can see, today we're going to be taking a look at Transformer Studio Series 1986 Core Class Autobot Wheelie. Now, I'd originally planned on doing this review you the way a uh, wheelie ta ox, ox, which sounds too stupid to be true. Ew. And back, basically, back when Wheelie was created, aided, and time and time again, this has been stated, Hasbro decided fans would have a fun time if Wheelie always spoke in rhyme, especially on the G1 cartoon. But that is some something that I want to avoid doing this afternoon. All right, so I'm done. And with that, at and for the sake of time, the rest of the review will be you will be a normal speech and not not the way we Ely talk. Uh, so you don't have to yell at the can camera and screech. <laughs> but, but in all seriousness, here is Transformers Studio Series Six Core Class Wheelie, and the fact that we got a non-transforming figurine of Wheelie with the released with the Studio Series Eighty Six Leader Class Grimlock figure back in twenty twenty. A lot of Transformers fans and collectors are wondering if we would get a Transforming action figure of Wheelie in the Studio Series 86 line. And I'm so, so glad that Hasbro and Descartes Tony decided to do, the, do just that. Um, Wheelie is one of those uh, Transformers figures where you either love him or hate him and there's not much middle ground. A lot of Transformers collectors really enjoy his robot mode. They enjoy how accurate his um, robot mode is to his appearance in the... Generation 1 movie and the subsequent third season of the G1 cartoon. Um, his vehicle mode is not that bad. It's very similar looking to his original Generation 1 figure, but there's one feature of the alt mode that I find highly annoying, even by wheelie standards. Standards, and again, because I, as I was talking when the review started, in the Generation 1 cartoon and then the Generation 1 movie, movie filmmakers decided to make wheelie an interesting character by having him always speaking in rhyme and when people speaking in rhyme, it tends to get a little uh, annoying for most people, since rhyming is a form is a form of uh, speech that pe most people don't don't communicate with. If, and personality-wise, because Wheelie was given a high-pitched voice compared to his other fellow Autobots, Wheelie's personality basically, if he was to be turned into a human, he'd basically be the equivalent of a small child, which is why in Several episodes of, of the third season of the G1 cartoon, Wheelie was shown hanging around with the Autobots' human uh, kid friend of da of Daniel Witwicky. So, yeah, that's uh, Wheelie's one of the Transformers characters who's uh, uh, represents the idea that small-sized Transformers are childlike and act like human children compared to larger-sized Transformers char characters. And I kind of uh, Never really been fond of that idea of just because uh, Transformers characters are small means that they act like kids. It's just because of their small stature, so. Nature, but. For me personally, um, even though, uh, even though I agree with some Transformers fans that him talking in rhyme all, rhyme all the time is, uh, annoy is highly annoying. Annoying, I still, still don't hate Wheelie. I think he's, a. Uh, as far as popularity list, he's right there, he's right around the middle in being a mediocre uh, level of uh, a successful Transformers character as far as, uh, as far as uh, most Transformers characters go. And because Wheelie, Wheelie did feature prominently in the G1 cartoon here in the United States, uh, even if you find him highly annoying, there are... Wheelie is higher up in the uh, popularity chart amongst other Transformers characters compared to most ones that Transformers characters, after finding out who they are, do find, end up finding them... Uh, more fascinating than Wheelie is, so unfortunately, Wheelie's the one Transformers character where Hasbro tried to make him slightly on the annoying side, and that annoyance has stuck around with him to the present day. Okay, so Wheelie's one of those Transformers characters where you either completely love him or you completely hate him, and when you mix them together, you also love to hate Wheelie, and you hate loving him. <laughs> and so I just chuckle to myself knowing, knowing that's the atti general attitude amongst the Transformers fan base about Wheelie. So flipping around here, here on the back of his box, you got some product photos. You got Wheelie in his robot mode and in his alt mode, and he transforms back and forth between mode, both modes in just 12 steps. And again, it is fairly accurate to his appearance in the Generation 1 film. They went more with um, matching up with the paint scheme that he had for his um, 
animation model and the cartoon versus the paint job that his original Generation 1 action figure had. One thing I almost forgot to mention, the artwork on Wheelie's box, he's shown holding his slingshot. Slingshot, and it's the same artwork found all around the box. Here's a close-up of his face, which is the same artwork that he has here on the side of his box. And I don't know if it's just me, but the way Wheelie's smiling in this box art, it just looks creepy to me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's something funny to know know about him. A uh, wheelie does come with his slingshot uh, that he's shown using here. But one thing to note is that in the G in the G1 cartoon, uh, the uh, rubber band on Wheelie's slingshot it was made out of Energon, so uh, the uh, slingshot itself doesn't actually have a piece of string connecting it there. So you do have to use your imagination. So basically, uh, Wheelie comes with a Y-shaped stick as his weapon, but considering the fact that in real life most slingshots are Y-shaped sticks, that's uh, pretty appropriate. Appropriate, And uh, that's pretty much all there is to say. A, uh, a, uh, despite I had, uh, many Transformers fans thinking of him as an annoying character, uh, action figures of Wheelie are very far few in between. And so when a figure do of Wheelie does, does eventually get released, Transformers fans and collectors do go after it, and the fact that I personally have never seen Wheelie at my local Target store, or at any time, and I got this copy of Wheelie off of eBay, eBay, it's a testament to the fact that this figure is one of the more sought-after figures of the Studio Series 86 line, despite I'd, uh, whatever flaws it has and how what your attitude about Wheelie is. It does have one flaw that I will point out when we get to Wheelie's alt mode. Oh, but without further delay, let's get Wheelie out of the box and take a close look at him while he is in robot mode. Alright, so here's Wheelie out of his box and transferred into his robot mode. For being a core class figure, he does he is fairly impressive looking. He's got a decent amount of articulation. Um his head is on a ball joint so it can look up and down ever so slightly, but it looks up more due to a transformation joint. Point point that allows you to hold hold his head back. He can spin three hundred and sixty degrees clockwise and counterclockwise. One thing to note about Wheelie is that all of the um sorry for having it too low. This um Light orange paint, I guess you could call it like a a creamy um, a sherbet orange paint job. It's all paint. Ain't on here. Wheelie is entirely made out of the solid orange plastic used on his arms and legs. So all the light orange used on his head his ro and his robot mode chest, which becomes the hood of his vehicle mode, that's all paint. So that is a little discouraging to see that uh, Wheelie's just been made entirely out of orange plastic and that he has... Uh, all this painted highlights on it, but to be fair, in the past, most Wheelie action figures have have followed this trend of being done entirely orange and other colors being made out of paint. Um, here he is holding his slingshot. It is a little difficult trying to shove it into his hand the first time, and whatever you do, do not press directly down on the slingshot, because at one point my finger slipped and it felt like I was going to snap one of the top sections of the slingshot off, so just be extremely careful when you uh, handle Wheelie's slingshot. Shot. Um, for other points of articulation, he actually has a double-jointed hinge in his shoulder, so his arms can go up and down and at the shoulder itself. It is on a ball joint, so he can move his arms out to the side. All right, this far, he can spin his arms 360 degrees forward and backwards. Backwards, he has ball-jointed elbows, so his arms can rotate at the elbow clockwise and counterclockwise 360 degrees. Um, out of the box, the arms... Uh, are clipped in place, which is where they're positioned for when you transform him into his alt mode. Alt mode, uh, no wrist articulation at all, but that's common on core class figures. Um, no waist articulation due to how he transforms. Um, so that is a little discouraging. And if you lift his arms out of the way, his legs are on ball joints. Um, they can't do go out 180 degrees, they only go out this far, so... Wheelie, unfortunately, can't do a full splits, but his leg can go forward that far, it can go backward... Backward uh, that far if you rotate his leg outward. And, um, I'll get to a second of that, why that is in a moment. Ball draining, ball draining knees. knees, so his legs can be angled outward at the knee if you want. All right, um, his toes can go upward and downward, but that's primarily a transformation joint. All right, and so overall, I'm pretty Im impressed with the amount of articulation that Wheelie has. Um, one of the, one of two flaws, the flaws that Wheelie has, um, is here in his robot mode, this one panel section for the back of his vehicle mode. Apparently the designers at Hasbro Intercar told me couldn't figure out where to put it, so it just dangles here off of off of the bottom of his back. And 
And to make a joke about it without using foul language, it looks like Wheelie has an extremely enormous buttocks. Buttocks hanging off the back of him, so I'll let you decide what you how funny you think that is. Is um that's not the flaw that I was talking about at the start of the video, no. Video though, um we will get to it when we get to Wheelie's um alt mode in just a moment. But before or we get to um um alt mode ode for some size comparisons, here is Studio Series Wheelie next to the previous figure of him. And this is the Titans Return Legends Class Wheelie that was released back in 2016. And the general consensus I've seen from Transformers fans and collectors is due to the fact that he doesn't have a butt panel hanging off his back. And the fact that he is slightly taller and he stands, uh, he is uh, slightly more size accurate compared to other large uh, Transformers figures. A lot of Transformers fans and collectors I've seen still say that the Titans Return version of Wheelie is their all-time favorite action figure of Wheelie due to the fact that with the Minibots characters such as Bumblebee, Cliffjumper, Warpath, Cosmo, Osmos, and uh, Huffer, and Pipes, Pipes with Hasbro and Dakaratomi starting in the War for Cybertron trilogy lines making uh, the Lux class sized action figures of the uh, Minibot Transformers characters which Wheelie's one of them. One of them. Uh, a lot of Transformers fan collectors have said that Titans Return Wheelie is pretty size act is much more size accurate compared to this, the Studio Series 86 figure. In the Generation 1 cartoon, Wheelie's height, I believe he's, uh, not, I believe he's supposed to be six feet tall. All, he's, uh, basically the same height as an adult human, so, I guess technically, if you go by scale in the G1 cartoon, Core Class Wheelie is more size accurate than Titan's Return Wheelie, but visually, he went standing next to other Transformers action figures. I've seen collectors say that Titans Return Wheelie still stands uh, at a more size accurate scale than the Studio Series 86 figure. And for one last special size comparison, the one of the rarest uh, action figures of Wheelie that's out there here is Core Class Studio Series 86 Core Class Wheelie with the first modern day action figure based off of Generation 1 Wheelie. This is the Transformers Universe Classics 25th Anniversary. Legends Class Wheelie figure. Yes, I said Legends Class. As released way back in 2009, so... Uh, it's difficult for me to hold all three of them here in my hand. Alright, so for a special side-by-side -side comparison, here's all of my uh, Generation 1 Wheelie figures in my Transformers collection. So we have the uh, Universe Classics Wheelie that was released in 2009, Titans Return Wheelie from 2016, and now Studio Series 86 Wheelie, who was released last year in 2022. And so, um, moving these guys around, moving these guys around, um, here they are, are lined up in chronological order of when they were released, switching these guys back since this version of Wheelie's what the video's focusing on, so, you can see here, there's been slightly different alterations as to how, uh, uh, Hasbro and Descartes told me he figured what a perfectly, uh, G1 looking action figure Wheelie is. As far as what my all-time favorite version of Wheelie is of these three figures, here's, um, I'm inclined to say Titan's Return Wheelie is my favorite of these three, since he's the first uh, G1 figure of Wheelie that I got. I actually missed out on the Universe Classics version of Wheelie when he was released back in 2009. I got him, uh, got him uh, two years ago, back in 2021, off of Amazon when I found a copy of him that I thought at the time was selling for a fairly decent price, brand new in the box. box and so... <clears throat> The point I was trying to get at is, uh, yeah, it is that, uh, Legends Class Transformers figures started off the same size as Core Class figures, but then they were enlarged, and now Core Class figures have gotten small, so, um, it's kind of, uh, amuses me that tiny size Transformers, Transformers slowly got bigger, and now they're going back to the size they used to be, and that's happened with every size class of Transformers figure, but as far as which one's the most Generation 1 looking of these three wheelie figures, figures, um, in terms of looking like Wheelie looking like uh, he jumped off the screen of the G1 cartoon, the Studio Series 86 core class figure is the most G1 accurate in that regard. But to be honest, honest, the other action figures of Wheelie here do still feel to their own merit. Uh, they're pretty decent Transformers figures, and I do not regret adding them to my collection as well. But in terms of articulation, uh, Hasbro and Dekartomi have improved their designs a bit. Uh, the Universe Classics Wheelie, he doesn't have any uh, 
elbow joints. His arms just move forward and backward and up and down at the shoulder. Other end. His toes do move, but it's only just a transformation joint. Uh, Titan's return wheelie. He does have a fairly decent amount of articulation, but his joints don't have as much free range movement as the Studio Series Core Class wheelie figure has, so. Um, articulated joints are one thing that has constantly been improving, moving over the years, and um, one thing I will state hey, right now is, um, if you're wondering why Titan's Return Wheelie's bent down slightly, is because um, he does like to topple back in robot mode, depending on how you uh, have his legs positioned, and his uh, heel spurs, depending on how you angle his legs, uh, they don't really like to sit flat on a surface, so it's very difficult getting Titan's Return Wheelie to stand up. That's the one flaw he has. But overall, I do enjoy how the core class figure looked out. And um, one thing I will note to note about Studio the Studio Series 86 core class Wheelie figure before I transform into his alt mode. Right now in robot mode, he's closer to the Universe Classics version of Wheelie in terms of height in robot mode. Um, he's not going to stand up freely on his own, but if I hold on to him, uh, Titan's Return Wheelie, when you get him to stand up properly, he's a he whole head taller than the other two wheelie figures we have here. Have here, and um, the reason why I'm emphasizing this is because when we get Studio Series 86 Wheelie transformed into his alt mode in just a moment, he ends up becoming almost the same size car as Titan's Return Wheelie does, and he ends up being a larger car than this version of Wheelie, the Universe Classics figure does. So... Studio Series 86 Wheelie, surprisingly, he goes through some, uh, some uh, mass shifting, where he looks, uh, in robot mode, he's the size of a more traditional Legends Class Transformers figure that's about three inches tall, but in alt mode, his uh, vehicle mode ends up becoming uh, three and a half inches, maybe 3.75 inches long, almost the same size as a uh, Prime Wars Trilogy leg upscaled sized uh, Legends Class Transformers figure. So now that I pointed those things out, let's get Wheelie transformed into his alt mode and wrap up the review. Alright, so here is Studio Series Core Class Wheelie transformed into his alt mode. And I apologize, um, when I was going up about his uh, mass shifting, um, it's actually the opposite of what I said a moment ago. His robot mode is larger than his alt mode. In robot mode, he's um, right in between uh, Universe and Titan's Return Wheelie in size. But in alt mode, he's um, actually almost the same size as... Uh, Universe Classics Wheelie, Wheelie here who wants to roll back on my table now that I've moved him around a bit, out of it. But yes, um, overall I do enjoy how accurate it is. And um, now to get to the one flaw that I said that Wheelie had that I absolutely hate, hate that I s said we'd be discussing in his alt mode, and it's this here on the back. Wheelie is not able to hide his robot mode hands away. I can kind of see one reason why the designers did that because his wrists are right where his rear wheels are, and his uh, hands, if they did fold inside, they'd probably get in the way of him being able to properly store his slingshot, slingshot. but if those are the reasons why Hasbro and Takaratomi couldn't design a way for him to uh, uh, flip his hands inside and hide them in his alt mode, that's uh, not a good reason at all. There is a third party, at least one third party upgrade kit there, which gives Wheelie um, replacement forearms that you pop off at the uh, ball jointed wrist is that allow him to hide his hands in alt mode. So, um, if Wheelie did not have this one, uh, unhorrible feature of being unable to, uh, of having his robot mode hands sticking out the back of his vehicle mode, if he was able to hide those, then I'd say he'd easily surpass both Universe Classics and Titans Return Wheelie in being my favorite figure. Figure, but surprisingly, he's my least favorite of the three of these guys. Um, I do enjoy Titans Return Earn Wheelie because, um, Ely, when he stands next to the uh, deluxe class minibot figures such as Earthrise, Cliffjumper, Netflix Bumblebee, and Kingdom, Warpath, Huffer, and Pipes. Ipes, and uh, Ipes. I think that Wheelie really being an old Legends class sized figure it is more size, it is very size accurate next to the deluxe class minibots. As I've always viewed Wheelie and also Beachcomber and being among the smaller, smaller uh, minibots. Odds and then, um, uh, compared to other Minibot figures that I have, um, even though he's more of an Earth-looking sports car, Universe Classics Wheelie, it's still a fairly decent Wheelie figure, and, um, it's tied with Titan's Return Wheelie being my most favorite figure, so, uh, Hasbro and Descartes told me if you had just made that one, you just find, found a way to hide 
Studio Series 86 wheelies hands, then he wouldn't be my least favorite G1 wheelie figure that I have in my collection. But um, for, but as far as uh, his feature in vehicle mode, which is rolling his wheels around, he does roll uh, fairly successfully. It's kind of hard here on my on my uh, review tray since it's a wooden surface. But in terms of vehicle mode accuracy to the G1 cartoon, I'm looking at him from the front and looking at him at an angle where you can't see his hands. Uh, and core class wheelie is uh, the most you accurate looking accurate looking compared to his uh, G1 cartoon animation model. I think Titans Return Wheelie's accurate to his appearance in IDW's comic books. And then uh, Universe Wheelie, when he was released in 2009, he was an original design. Ein, but paint-wise, he does uh, match up closer to Core Class Wheelie and being more cartoon accurate than Titans Return Wheelie. If Titans Return Wheelie had if Hasbro had made this thing entirely orange and given him gray wheels instead of black ones, then he would be uh, he, uh, completely accurate to the G1 cartoon. Uh, the Takara Tomy version of Titans Return Wheelie, which they released in their Transformers Legends line, that is uh, has the paint has the almost entirely orange paint job that these two figures have. So. The Takara Tomy uh, Transformers Legends LG wheelie figure is the most uh, G1 accurate looking of them all. Also, I apologize for making the review of a U.S. size comparison of Core Class Wheelie with uh, previous wheelie action figures that have been released, but, geez, but again, as I said, uh, this figure, in my opinion, it's a mixed bag. It does have many pros, O's, and uh, those and uh, positive aspects going for it, such as accuracy to G Wheelie's uh, Generation 1 cartoon animation model. Auto uh, weapon storage of his slingshot is another thing. Another thing in having a fairly decent uh, paint paint job and being able to roll around in alt mode, but, well, but not being able to hide his hands and having them sticking out of the back of his vehicle mode and having this um, back section of his vehicle mode ending up as a, as a butt flap in robot mode. Uh, those things just take away this fi Those are some of the things that prevent this figure from being the, uh, being the, uh, perfect, um, oh, I lost the word I was going to use, the, uh, not prominent, the, uh, oh, I forgot the word, I can't believe it slipped my mind, the, um, uh, oh, I almost had it for a second there, the, uh, quintessential, that's the word I was looking for, the, uh, absolute quintessential, the must-have, uh, Wheelie figure that figure that everyone wants to have have in their collection. Uh, one nice thing about Wheelie that you can do is if you can get his cockpit opened up, his head is sticking out of here, and that is accurate to how Generation One Wheelie transformed. Armed. Unfortunately, you can't transform this figure like Generation One Wheelie, where the legs uh, rotate 180 degree, ease down, down. But it is uh, a nice thing to do. Here and for those of you wondering, um, why Wheelie's uh, his head sculpt, why it looks like he has a uh, sorry for moving it the wrong way. For those of you wondering why, with his head sculpt, it looks like Wheelie has a visor sticking over his eye over his face, it's because on the Generation One cartoon, Wheelie's windshield it would flip up and rotate into his head and become a visor for his helmet. And on the G1 action figure, of course, the windshield could not flip up and do that, so that was the Visor for Wheelie, so Generation One, the original Generation One Wheelie action figure. It's one of the, um, for lack of better vocabulary, goofiest looking, uh, looking uh, action figures out there. Not just for Generation One figures, but for Wheelie in general. So these more modern day Wheelie figures, they have come leaps and bounds ahead of the original Generation One figure of Wheelie that has Ronda Karatomi designed back in 1986. So for my fine, so for the final question of the review. Do I recommend getting Studio Series Core Class Wheelie and adding him to your Transformers collection? I absolutely do. Even though I've just said that he has some flaws, such as his exposed hands in alt mode, alt mode, this that should not deter you from adding Studio Series Core Class Wheelie to your Transformers collection. I love the fact that he does a slight bit of mass shifting where his uh, alt mode is smaller than taller than his robot mode is tall. Oh, and I do enjoy seeing him standing next to these other wheelie figures that we've gotten in more modern times. Thank you guys all so much. This has been the TF Fan Geek. This has been my review of Transformers Studio Series 1986 Core Class Wheelie. I highly recommend you get this figure. And even if you have the previously released action figures of Wheelie in your Transformers collection, you cannot go wrong having Studio Series Core Class Wheelie in your collection as well. Thank you guys all so much, and until next time, you guys.
Bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Transform and roll out. Goodbye, everyone.